I am so excited to be here with the fabulous Jill Kearney. Jill is a dear friend of mine. Thank you so much for joining me, Jill, to come and share and have the conversation around your journey. And I'm so excited to introduce you to everybody. And I know that these conversations just are just always really inspiring for people who are considering their path and the outcomes that they want to create in their life as well. So thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. Would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? So I guess what would be helpful is just to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and, and what you do. Yeah, of course. Um, so as you said, we've known each other a little while. So I've got a corporate background just as, as you have. So having worked 19 years, 19 years, I know, years <laughs> I know, where's that gone? Um, yeah, so i would probably worked about 20 odd years in public sector. Um, for me, it was as a senior leader in um, human resources. So that was how I met you, supporting you um, on your journey in um, social care. And now I'm working as an intuitive life and business coach and um, I'm doing a few things. So I'm supporting your gorgeous clients in the Infinite Prosperity Collective, uh, which I love where we have one-to-one -one sessions, helping people to work out their next steps and their goals and how to achieve them and holding them to account and to do any heart storming and stuff. And I love all of that. So that's gorgeous. Uh, I've also got my Arbonne business, so health and wellness products. Um, health and wellness is, is something that I'm really interested in. And then um, I've now added the Akashic Records to my uh, my string, my, to my bow, if you like. Um, so I can offer that to my clients as well, which is an absolute honor. And, and I'm really loving that. Mm. It's, it's such a sacred gift to be able to offer clients, I think. And, and one of the things that certainly when I'm teaching it in the in the training people um have that moment of wow yeah. this is really sacred this is really really special and it's and it's just when it lands is um such a gift to to see what was it that inspired you to to join the Akashic Record training um well, as you know, I'd done a previous program with you, um, which was the Your Impassioned Life, um, which uh, introduced me to energy kinesiology, which I loved. Um, and that really helped me to release some things that were keeping me stuck and unmotivated and what have you, having finished in HR and knowing that I wanted to do something different and not really being sure what that something different was. Mm -hmm. um, so I just fell in love with energy work. So I knew I wanted to do something with energy work. Um, and then I had uh, the opportunity to join you for, it was two or three different group activations in the Akashic Records, and that was just mind blowing. It was amazing. I could really feel the deep shift in energy. And I knew from that that I wanted to do more with that and I wanted to find out more. Um, so I signed up and uh, was straight on to level one, two and three, because I knew I wanted to add it to my business and not only to have the opportunity to use it for my own um, healing and work, but also to be able to offer that to, to clients as well. So, yeah. Oh, I love it. It, it is, it, it blows my mind. And I think um, I work with a lot of people who, some people who are completely new to energy work and then some people who are very advanced. And what I mean in terms of they've done training in a number of different modalities and all the amazing uh, ways that we can work with energy that are out there. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. But then when they come and step into the, the world of the Akashic Records, they, fit, they feel the difference. I don't know if that makes sense because it, it, you're tuning into a different frequency, a different consciousness. It totally does. And, and to me, I think I've likened it to um, energy kinesiology, but on speed. And it was like, <laughs> I, I, I kind of did a, a year and more with the energy totally kinesiology, <laughs> um, which, I, which I loved. But this seemed to be a different frequency, a different depth of understanding that I could get. Um, just pure love and truth in the Acacia Records, I guess, and really kind of getting underneath things that I found that I could clear things to a deeper level and, and things that were perhaps hidden that I hadn't been able to find with the energy kinesiology or see as clearly. Um, yes, yeah. you definitely can get those to those roots, can't you, in terms of um, across all dimensions, planes and <laughs> levels of consciousness. Um, that's what I absolutely love is, is that depth and so quickly. Yes. 
And that's not to say um, that it's always a quick fix because you've got to be ready for it as well. Um, so it can feel like kind of peeling the layers of the onion. But mm -hmm. yeah, it, it did feel that I was definitely getting deeper and actually doing the work that really needed to be done for my own healing to then be able to enable me to really help others with that as well, which was brilliant. Yeah. What's yeah. been your biggest breakthrough, would you say then? Um, I think probably... Um, a few things so um one was my own identity in terms of really kind of you know we all get very wrapped up in what we're doing as being who we are and 20 years in hr and and saying goodbye to that uh, and then stepping into the new me if you like um that was a that was a biggie um and then stepping into my own power really kind of loving myself fully as i am and being able to put myself first i think like many people uh, I was very good at pushing my own needs and wants down and not recognizing that pushing my own emotions down. So really being able to um, step into my own energy and my own power, if you like, and actually um, and, and feel okay with that in terms of stepping up and stepping out and shining my light and, you know, speaking my truth um, mm -hmm. and actually feeling ready and able to do that and to support others to do that. That's all been, that's all been a big one for me, I think. That's huge. And I think what you're talking about in terms of identity is is key when anybody is wanting to, whether it's changing the work that you're doing, whether whatever it is where we're wanting to manifest and create something different, the identity that we're holding is the foundational piece around what we're going to allow. And of course, the vibration that we are emitting out into into the universe saying hey give me some more of that please <laughs> yeah it really was and I think that surprised me because I think I, I hadn't necessarily thought of myself being in the employee mindset or what have you and then I found setting up my own business it was much easier to do work for somebody else uh, than it was to do stuff for myself and of course there's there was more in-depth things that I needed to find around that but identity was at the core of that for sure yeah, it's huge. I remember when I left social services, that that moment of <laughs> it was about when was it 2016 or uh, yeah, July, end of July 2016. And I remember going to Ibiza for holidays, my little little reward <laughs> ending 13 years in in uh, social services and just suddenly having that moment of who am I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and feeling the freedom, but also feeling like, whoa, what can I step into? It's a bit like I, I make this comparison rightly or wrongly, but it just um, resonated with me of that feeling of going from being like a, a, a cage 10, <laughs> working in corporate, you're in this box, this is what you do, all these processes and off you go, that's your life, to being like an organic free range hen. <laughs> <laughs> where suddenly it's like you're let out and you're like you've got the whole wood in front of you and where do you go yes <laughs> and that can be quite overwhelming particularly if you're not quite sure so for me I didn't really know what my passion and my purpose was I needed to find myself first I think to be able to then open up to actually uh what I was ready to do and what I was ready to receive and um how I was going to show up in the world I think so yeah if it feels very different if it was very expansive um yeah yeah Oh, I love it. It's just such a gift to be able to offer it and add it into your business, like you say, with all the other components that you've got. What's what's your business like now? Oh, it's completely different in terms of, you know, it's no longer the, I was going to say nine to five, but it was never nine to five. It was always, you know, getting up at 5.30 and, uh, and, and getting home at 7.30 in the kind of corporate world and what have you. So it's, it's none of that now. I've got the flexibility in terms of the hours that I work, uh, choosing the people that I work with um, and it's a gift you know having gone from um, HR where it is all very uh, kind of feels a lot of it feels very negative energy in terms of employee relations type stuff um, and this is really helping people move forward in terms of with their energy and it just felt a different level of energy I think um, so yeah working with clients on the infinite prosperity collective working with clients in the acacia records it's varied and it's different and yeah it's lovely oh I know it. what would you what would you then say because you work with a you know a lot of coaches and obviously we have a lot of coaches in our, our world and, and other people entrepreneurs that may be wanting to 
develop their intuitive gifts to be able to read the Akashic records and they might be thinking about it what would advice would you have for someone who's you know wanting to develop that yeah I would say definitely try it and you know if it's if it's calling you and if you're if you're feeling ready for it then to have the conversation with you or just to to check it out because um certainly just experiencing the group activation myself I just felt the energy and I just knew it was right and you know I've worked with you before I love working with you so um I, I knew it was the right thing for me and I was straight in with with level one two and three because I not only wanted to be able to use it for myself and my own deep healing but also to share that gift with clients because that feels like a real sacred privilege I think um so yes I would definitely say investigate it further if you think it's for you and and just go for it yeah I, I, I feel that the Akashic record keepers have a way of calling people in when they're ready it's amazing how many people will say do you know what it's weird that I've been thinking about the Akashic records and then suddenly there you are for example and I'm talking about the Akashic records and I'm like oh look how the universe has lined everything up <laughs> or it's been at the back of my head for a number of years and now I feel ready because it's different for different for everybody Exactly. And the timing's got to be right, hasn't it? And it's got to feel right for you. But I think it, you, you know when it is. And, and I certainly did with this. And then I was all in. And I'm, I'm really pleased that I did. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your journey and your experiences and your story. And we love having you in the Infinite Prosperity Collective and in the uh, the Akashic Records. And you're doing the Helix Method certification as well, which I'm so excited yeah. about that's uh, up and coming what would you say what's what are you most grateful for along your along your journey Jill oh so much um certainly being able to have had the opportunity to invest in myself in this way I think and have the time and um the ability to to do the training and to do the acacia records because that's definitely opened me up and my eyes up in different ways to things that I can now be doing um obviously to be working with you and and you're such a great teacher and mentor um and that's been phenomenal in terms of the support so i would definitely recommend that to anyone um but also to the group i think um you know it feels like in terms of the beautiful souls that were in our, my group of the acacia records it felt like we were all supposed to be together it's like i found my tribe they're just so supportive so loving so wise all different experiences and backgrounds and we all support each other and cheer each other on even having completed the qualifications and you know that's going to continue I know so yeah lots to lots to be grateful for for sure. I, lo I love that so much that you speak to the the group energy and all the friendships that you make it it's just so exciting seeing all those friendships blossom and the, the depth because you get to know each other really well because of course you get the opportunity to read each other's records and to practice in that safe container yeah um where where you're in that learning environment so you can ask questions and um have that guidance along the way and of, and being able to sh i think it's that shared sacred experience that just means you go it's like you know you've known each other for years yeah after a weekend <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it really is. It feels really special. And it's lovely that that continues. So, you know, people still meeting up and, and doing that one to one work with each other when we need it um, and sharing just information and ideas and just cheering each other on as well as we see each other moving our businesses forward. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, well, thank you so much, lovely, for coming and sharing your journey with everybody. And I hugely appreciate you. And thank you for all that you do for all our amazing clients in the Infinite Prosperity Collective as well. I know they absolutely adore you because you're a complete ninja. I love all the posts that we get in the group going, Jill's amazing. I'm like, I know she is. Uh, <laughs> I asked her to come in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's an absolute oh, well. pleasure. <laughs> So thank you so much, lovely. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining us and to listening to Jill's uh, experience and results and story and celebrating you, my lovely. Thank you. Sending you lots of love. <laughs>